okay. It's not going to get me. It's okay. It's good. It's not going to get me. What is up, Fleek fans? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm talking about the brand new Netflix original movie, Rattlesnake. So, here we go. When a single mother accepts the help of a mysterious woman after her daughter is bitten by a rattlesnake, she finds herself making an unthinkable deal with the devil to repay the stranger. Well, here we go. Let's talk Rattlesnake. This is directed by uh, Zach Hilditch, who I actually do not dislike as a director. He directed 1922, a Stephen King adaptation on Netflix, which... I actually liked, uh, I thought that was a good movie. And one thing I will say about this film is the direction, in terms of how it looks, that aspect of the direction, I guess, the cinematography, pretty good. Shot selection, okay. I liked the look of the film. It feels like one of those horror movies that should work if the story delivers. That's the thing about this movie, because what you see in the summary that I just read you, and what you, uh, what you get from the trailer for this film is exactly what you get from the film. So it's not misleading per se. But my big issue with this movie is the fact that it's only an hour and 30 minutes, and I kid you not, I checked my watch. I wasn't wearing a watch. I checked my phone <laughs> so many times throughout this film because the story starts off on a very interesting note. She does basically make a deal with the devil without knowing... That's how the devil works, isn't it? Uh, she makes that deal and has to do something to uh, allow her daughter to stay alive. Now, to talk about this film, I have to reveal to you what that something is that she has to do. Now, this is not me saying that she ends up doing that thing, but if you don't want to know anything about this movie... Eh, I mean, why? But, okay, skip this if you don't want to know, but I am going to talk about it. Three, two, one. So, she has to take a life to make up for the life of her daughter who was saved. And I found that very interesting and intriguing. While I found a few elements of the movie at the beginning to be like, okay, this could be very cliche, but I'm interested. I am willing to see where this movie is going to go to give it a shot. And I do like this lead character. Her name is Carmen Jogo. She plays the character of Katrina, who is uh, actually, you know, I mean, you feel for her. You understand that what she is doing, the decisions that she is making, they all come from desperation. She is desperate to save the life of her daughter. And when they uh, allow her to see what could end up happening to her if she does not take this life, you feel and you understand that desperation. This film falling apart is not on her. She is good. Her daughter was fine, but she wasn't in the film enough to uh, really make an impact. And that's one thing about this movie is they, they don't really show... Uh, that relationship, they don't have to, I guess, but they do not flesh that out any more than it already is. It's just a mother who has to save her daughter, okay? Everything past that point when the thing happens, when she is bit by the rattlesnake, it, it, it's convoluted, it's dull. This entire mythology is not very well explained. I guess it does not have to be explained, but I had so many questions all the way throughout. It's like, why is this happening? Who is behind this? And we think that we know, but as we go along, our questions never even get hit on. It's just her trying to find a person to kill. No action, no killing. It's trying to find a person to kill. That's the entire movie, and it's just a lot of sulking and, oh, Oh, I oh, I'm, oh, and I get it. Your daughter is in peril. Give me five minutes of that, but then give me something to latch on to and, and don't bore me out of my mind. And I just found this movie completely dull and uninteresting. The shots are okay. It's pretty to look at, but if you're not engaged with what's going on on screen, there's no reason to keep watching. And I just found this such a lackluster effort and nothing to keep me going. There is 40 minutes of nothing. And that's one reason why I think this movie is a massive missed opportunity because you have a cool premise and the end of the movie was much more interesting than the middle because something actually <laughs> happens. And there's one scene in particular that was really cool, but by that point, it was far too late to get me on board. Uh, Theo Rossi is in this movie. Rossi? Rossi? Probably Rossi. Uh, is in this film as well. He played Shades and Luke Cage. And I'm like, ah, oh, that guy's really good. The acting's fine. And that's not the issue with this film. Like I said, it looks good, but there is nothing else. I mean, if there ever was an empty horror experience to be had on Netflix, this is it. 
The girl gets bit by a rattlesnake, and she spends 45 minutes wandering around trying to find someone. I mean, <laughs> that's the entire movie. If you got something out of it, definitely let me know in the comments down below. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen from a quality perspective. It's not unwatchable performances. No, it's just dull. Thankfully, Carmen is good. She is watchable as an actress, and I'm excited to see what she is going to be in next. For this film, I am going 38% for Rattlesnake. Like I said, it doesn't botch every element, and I probably overreacted in this review, but I just, you know, when you waste 90 minutes, it's, I could have been doing something else. I could have been petting my dog. I guess I could have done that during the movie. I need to shut up. Thank you guys so much for watching this review. I, uh, I want to know, what are you guys watching on Netflix this weekend? I am currently watching through BoJack Horseman. I'm going to review the first part of this season tomorrow. Many more things to come on this channel as well. And we're getting close to the end of October. That means we are wrapping up the month, probably Monday or Tuesday. You guys are the best. I'll see you soon. Neville Noob, Christopher Nolan. I think they're the two best in the business right now, and I yeah. I think they're both going to blow us away in terms of quality. Yeah. So those are definitely my two.